What's up, Plasmaniacs? Plasmastake13 here, and welcome to another episode of Minecrafting Win. I've got a new texture pack. It's looking pretty good, based on the old one. And uh, I'll, let's just get started here. Uh, this episode is going to be on Redstone Bit here. Let me just uh, speed myself up here, and we can get down to the track easier. God damn it, I've got squids again. Alright, here we are, here we are. So, redstone basics. The first thing that's first, what is redstone? That's probably one of the best questions you can ask. Redstone is what you see down here. This is all redstone. This is redstone on the floor. Uh, if you'd like to see what redstone... What? Huh. Well, anyways, if you'd like to see what redstone is in your palm, then here, let me just grab some here. That is redstone in your hand. Um, on the default, uh, on the default uh, texture pack, it's like a little red dust. And you just right-click to put it down, like so. And apparently, I'm flying. <laughs> uh, sorry, the uh, mods are getting a little bit uh, weird. Let me just make the time day here. Okay, so, uh, anyways, let's get back to here. Uh, redstone dust on the floor there. That is a redstone ore. Let me just move that torch for a second. That is redstone ore. You'll find that in the ground. It's quite rare. It'll drop about four to six blocks of redstone. And this is really cool uh, because, uh, hey, let's learn more about it. Redstone is like Minecraft wires. They carry energy or electricity. Um, here you see an activated redstone wire. It's uh, red and bubbly. And over here is a non-activated one. It is not red nor does it bubbly at all. It does not bubbly at all. That makes sense. Uh, you can activate redstone by uh, you know, sending energy through it and it'll carry that energy or electricity through it. Uh, next episode we'll learn how to use redstone with items but for now we're just going to use those redstone torches to demonstrate how it works and how the signal is sent. There are many ways to activate it but again, we're just going to be using this one. And these diagrams here show you exactly how redstone torches send the uh, signal and where it goes to. For example, this on the block will not send any signal to these ones out here. But if it was on the side of the block, it will send signals out to here. And th in this kind of pattern. Now, you can also see that a redstone torch will pass a signal down a block down to here. This also works the same as if you put one up here, it'll also reach the block below. Now those are just some basic positions. You can kind of fiddle around with redstone more to see exactly what kind of positions you want to place yourself in. But basically that is where redstone torches will send signals. Now there's something special here. You can also use redstone signal uh, and send it into a torch to turn it off. For example, I'm going to use this stone pressure pad which sends energy through the redstone signal around here and into this block which will turn off these torches. You can see they're bubbly right now. Like I said before, they're bubbly. That means that they are activated and bloop, they're off. You can see the difference. On, off. Because I'm sending signal along these lines into this block and it turns them off. But that's as advanced as I'm going to go. That's basically it. Uh, you can use the redstone torches for light, but they all suck. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys for the next episode, which where we're going to be talking about the uh, items that you can send and receive redstone uh, signal with. All right, until next time, see you later, guys.